What's up everybody, Tom Pilicero here at Lucas Oil Stadium. Day one of media access to the NFL Scouting Combine wrapping up. A record number of credentials uh, were handed out here today. Another circus, it always is. It's really interesting, a lot of people don't realize that while the media is here, there's not a whole lot of workouts going on. And we're not actually watching the workouts. The only day we're even allowed to go in, a small group of people can go in on Sunday to watch the quarterbacks, running backs, and receivers work out. Right now, though, uh, the first group is just coming through. There's still players that are, that are not even here yet. They're still arriving. They arrive via their position groups. Tomorrow, Friday, we'll have the first group, uh, the specialists will work out. And then Saturday, that's when they begin in earnest with the offensive linemen and the tight ends. Uh, basically, today, we heard from Rick Spielman. A lot of stuff there, plenty of that. I'll let you read about it at 1500ESPN.com. Just wanted to say, though, a word about uh, what the Vikings are doing right now in terms of meeting with agents. I did a little poking around. It sounds as though they're not saying anything definitive to people. They don't know what the rules are going to be with restricted free agency. Will there even be restricted free agency? Will restricted free agents be three-year guys, four-year guys, five-year guys? There's a lot of uncertainty, but they are touching base. It sounds like the meeting started this morning. They're running through at least Saturday. They're trying to touch base with as many people as possible. You have to think that they're going to talk to Drew Rosenhaus during that time uh, about Sidney Rice. And Rosenhaus also represents Fred Evans, who is a Spielman guy and may be back. Lito Shepard, who I don't think is going to be back. You'd think that he, that, that meeting's going to occur. You'd also think the Vikings are going to get together with Ben Dogger. Probably the most interesting thing, and Spielman talked to us, uh, local reporters, small group of us, for 28 minutes, then also spoke at the podium for seven minutes. Maybe the most interesting thing that he said was acknowledging that something needs to be done with Adrian Peterson's contract. He's on the books for 10 10.72 million this year. I've said many times, I don't think that Adrian Peterson will play for that amount. I don't think that he shows up in Mankato, assuming that we go to Mankato for training camp and the work staff just doesn't wipe it out. I don't see him being willing to go out there in the final year of that deal without more financial security when he could be getting a new deal with 20 million, 25 million in guarantees. Those are two big things to watch, how things are going to play out there. Obviously, there's other guys like Ray Edwards. They have to figure something out. Once the collective bargaining agreement gets settled, you would think that they would talk to Chad Greenway. Greenway, uh, as far as we know, has not yet signed his franchise tender. Part of that could be he knows he's not going to get the tender pulled, and since he still would like to get a long-term deal and the team would still like to work out a long-term deal, he can wait for that, not sign the tender until that final day uh, this summer when he has to sign it by. A lot of stuff going on. Obviously, we're going to hear from Leslie Frazier tomorrow. Again, the workouts don't even really get going until Saturday unless you count the kickers and punters tomorrow. But we will be here covering it uh, all the way. For now, see you.